And according to Pittsburgh Post-Gazette's Jerry Dulac, he's not done yet. He was on the Rich Eisen show yesterday, talked about a bunch, talked about, obviously, Russell Wilson, Justin Fields, his thoughts there, what's going to happen, the extension that he believes is going to happen later on, and what's to come. And he said, quote, Art Rooney came out, the team president, after the season and basically said his patience is running thin and, quote, it's time to win some playoff games. They are not standing pat, and that was a directive pretty much to Omar Khan and Mike Tomlin. Don't be satisfied with 10 and 7. We need to do something, and they are doing and they are doing something. And I don't think they're done, he said. Then Eisen asked, oh, obviously, that's Mike Williams. That means that they're going to sign wide receiver Mike Williams, who's set to who's scheduled to visit this team on Thursday. Obviously, you come to Pittsburgh, you have a meeting with Mike Tomlin and Omar Khan. It's tough to leave this facility without a deal. Ask Russell Wilson. He said, no. Maybe it's bigger. Quote, yeah, or bigger is all I will tell you, Rich. I it might not even be Mike Williams. It might be a bigger catch. He went on to say no pun intended, but I gotta tell you. That was a great pun. It's a great pun by Jerry Dulac. So much to dive into. What is bigger than Mike Williams is the obvious question. And there are two names. And those two names, I mean, they they're they're just shooting out everywhere. Everybody's talking about them. Everybody's linking them to every team available. Anybody looking to make a wide receiver trade is talking about two guys, and that is Brandon Ayuk and Justin Jefferson. And maybe the Pittsburgh Steelers, maybe they're talking about Justin Jefferson and Brandon Ayuk, and maybe Jerry Dulac just knows something. We know we know where Jerry gets his news. Everybody knows where Jerry gets his news. So if the, if the owner of the Pittsburgh Steelers is sitting around going, yeah, maybe we're trading for Justin Jefferson, Brandon Ayuk. I'm reporting it too, and I'm tossing it out there, and I'm not saying exact names. I'm just saying it's a bigger splash than Mike Williams. But there's a lot that goes into this. First off, does it fit? Both of them obvious answers, yes. I think Brandon Ayuk, Justin Jefferson fits anywhere. You could put him on any team in any – any. you could probably put him on any team in any league. That guy is still a number one wide receiver. He's still going to have 1,500 yards. He's still going to have 10-plus touchdowns. He's still going to be unbelievable. Doesn't matter who your quarterback is. Doesn't matter anything. Justin Jefferson is Justin Jefferson. Brandon Ayuk, I feel like, is the more realistic of the two, and we're going to obviously dive into what the compensation is for both of these guys, how you could get your hand on it. Is it is it even feasible? Are the Pittsburgh Steelers really talking about these guys, or did Jerry Dulac just throw us through for a loop because you know he loves to throw us for a loop? Brandon Ayuk, 26 years old. This is the stat that stands out the most when I talk about Brandon Ayuk. Last year, 17.9 yards per reception. Russell Wilson loves to throw it deep. Justin Fields loves to throw it deep. Arthur Smith loves to throw it deep. That's what they all specialize in. And if you're working with a quarterback who's afraid to use the middle of the field and you're just saying, hey, whatever, we're just going to throw it deep, George Pickens and Brandon Ayuk might be two of the best options that you could possibly have. The third one, probably Justin Jefferson. And, you know, I see it in the comments now, Antonio Brown talking about Justin Jefferson. Look, at I've covered Antonio Brown for a long time. I don't believe anything that man says at all, but he's been right about some stuff. And I'm not saying he's right about this one. I'm not saying I believe it whatsoever because I do not believe anything that he says whatsoever. But when he tosses out a rumor, you got to talk about it. And that's just how it goes. You get George Pick or you get Justin Jefferson. You get Brandon Ayuk. I think it changes absolutely everything for this team. What one's more realistic? Obviously, it's Brandon Brandon Ayuk. I think, I mean, you, you saw reports from Jacksonville. I think it was the 17th overall pick and Zay Jones or Brandon Ayuk, 26-year-old All-Pro. Are the Steelers giving up a first-round pick in the NFL draft for a wide receiver when they already have a number one wide receiver, but maybe they're looking for a second one? And what does that mean for the NFL draft? If you're giving up the 20th pick in the draft, where do you go from there? You're not going to draft a wide receiver at that point. Your wide receiver is off the board. You just added your your draft pick wide receiver just came at pick 20. His name's Brandon Ayuk. From there, you're looking center in the second round. You're hoping that an offensive tackle falls to the third or a corner falls to the third. You still got two third round picks and a fourth. I'm not saying that they can't do it. I'm just saying that you are giving up a massive chunk for a guy that, I mean, is definitely proven, but in a loaded wide receiver class, which comes with questions. Would you rather the 
proven commodity. The 26-year-old has already done this, but you're going to have to sign him to a big contract after this season. And by big, I'm talking 20 plus million dollars a year. Or are you looking for an unproven guy? Maybe with 20, but chances are not at 20. In the second round that you're looking at a super cheap for the next four years, but you don't know if he's going to turn into anything. You don't know if Roman Wilson's going to work out. You don't know if Keon Cole's going to work out or if a Brian Thomas is going to work out. I mean, people are are comparing Brian Thomas to Montrevious Adams. And I got to say, drafting Montrevious Adams, when you have an opportunity of Brandon Ayuk, I'm going Brandon Ayuk. Like, they're, they're not totally different, but Brandon Ayuk is definitely better than the other two. And are you just totally ignoring the rest of the wide receiver class? It does fit with where the Pittsburgh Steelers are and what they've been doing and how aggressive they've been and who cares. Let me ask you this. Do you think that, and I've seen T. T Higgins in the chat now too, we'll add him to this conversation as well. Do you think that Omar Khan can pull off something crazier than a first round pick? Or do you think it's got to be a first round? You think it's got to be 20 and and somebody? And, and if I had to guess that somebody is, I don't know, Calvin Austin? Who are you going to get rid of? Because you're not going to get, no, they're not taking Van Jefferson. They're not saying, oh, sounds good. You're not getting rid of George Pickens. Are you just, I mean, maybe you are. Are you getting rid of George Pickens? There's no way you're getting rid of George Pickens, right? No, that that's cutting off your nose to spite your face at that point. Yeah, obviously getting Justin Jefferson is a jump over George Pickens, but that still leaves you with the problem. You have one receiver. Now, whether or not he's trading a first round pick, that I think is almost a, a must because if you look at the San Francisco 49ers, they're not getting anything less than a first round pick because they don't have to trade yeah. Brandon Ayuk. They don't have to trade him because they're asking a first and a half decent receiver. Maybe instead of a receiver, maybe Omar Khan says, you know, one of our two running backs and we'll go find another running back. Does he throw Najee Harris into there? True. He's in a similar Najee situation. Harris. Are you giving then, up Najee Harris? Is, is San Francisco I taking Najee Harris? But I, I, I'd I, give up Najee Harris. If I was the Pittsburgh I don't Steelers, I'd give up Najee would, Harris tomorrow. Yeah, I think I maybe really... Minnesota would if you wanted to get Justin Ooh. Jefferson and you threw him into a Justin Jefferson trade. Again, that's all just off of my mind, not anything rumors or reports, but I would think that if you're the Steelers in the position you're in, you're not including George Pickens in this trade just simply because you're in the same spot with a higher level and higher caliber of player in Justin Jefferson. And you certainly don't include him in a trade for Brandon Ayuk because you're on a similar playing field if you want to look at what Ayuk brings versus what Pickens brings. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. I, I think George Pickens is not an option, but I think you have to give up a wide receiver. So would it be Calvin Austin? Is that your guy? Because you're not giving, if they want the 17th pick in Zay Jones, they're not just taking the 20th pick. So you're taking the 20th pick in another draft pick, or you're taking a 20th pick in somebody else. If you're going just, Justin Jefferson, you're giving up more than the 20th pick. You're yeah. giving up way more than the 20th pick. He's the best wide receiver in football. Mm -hmm. That's that that's a question. And those are the two names. And again, this is all like Dulax dropping bombs. So you're sitting around talking about, oh, are they possibilities? I mean, maybe he's talking about somebody. What what would be a bigger splash than than Mike Williams? There's nobody on the free agency market unless you're talking about Michael Gallup. I don't think Michael Gallup's a bigger splash than Mike Williams. Are you talking about, I don't know, Odell Beckham Jr.? That's not that doesn't fit anything the Pittsburgh Steelers have done this offseason. They've gotten rid of all the drama, every drama they could possibly come up with outside of George Pickens, they've gotten rid of. You're not going to bring in Odell Beckham Jr. That just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Maybe they toss a running back in that package. Maybe they toss a, a tight end in that package. I have no, maybe they toss Dan Moore Jr. in that package. I have no idea. That's a question. This is it's it's confusing to to see where he would go because obviously, you know, nobody saw the Justin Fields coming for a sixth round pick. So maybe Omar Khan is looking at it and saying, yeah, like we could pull things off that nobody else could pull off and that's totally fine. But at some point, you got to be realistic about the situation. And I just don't know if you're going to sit around and say the 20th pick is getting it done. I just don't think. And it's definitely not getting it done for Justin Fields or yeah, for Justin Jefferson. I, and I don't want, I mean, I frankly, if we're going to be honest, I don't want Justin Jefferson just because I can't even say Justin Fields and Justin Jefferson separate <laughs> in this conversation as we're having it. So I think, I, I think both are, are possibly who he's talking about. What you're giving up for him would be 
would be, I mean, wild. You're giving up two first round picks for Justin Jefferson. There's yeah. zero questions asked. And you have to sign him to, I mean, you're looking at $30 million for Justin Jefferson. You're looking at $24, $25 million for Brandon Ayuk. I think both of them are crazy. And I don't know, maybe, you know, you think there's a chance that he meant a bigger, bigger catch with the first round pick? You think, I mean, he said that they're not done. Does that mean that they're not done until February 27th? Or does it mean they're not done until Friday? You know, like where, where do you go from there? Is T Higgins? I, I don't think T Higgins is an option. I, I know everybody wants to talk about T Higgins. I know everybody wants to toss that out there. I just don't think that you could look at T. I don't think Cincinnati's going to look at the Pittsburgh Steelers and say, man, you want to know what we want to do? We want to give our second best wide receiver to our AFC North rival team. We got to play twice a year. Not, not willingly. You know, you're just not going to look at it and say, cool. And I think T Higgins would be a great move. I think he's the, the, Number one, number two wide receiver in football. I think he's the top number two wide receiver in football. I think he fits what George Pickens does. I think they're almost the same person. So if you're going to build an offense and just say, hey, we're going to have two George Pickens, that's not that's not a problem. I think that that works out. Like people, people talk, oh, you don't want two of the same wide receivers. Why not? If your game plan is to just do the same things, I think that works out. And then Calvin Austin hopefully moves around. But I just don't know. I don't know if that's... That's that's a move. I see Debo Samuels in the in the chat. I don't think that's a move at all. I think Debo is Debo is all drama, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are not looking for drama. They're looking to get rid of De drama. You know, you got rid of Deontay Johnson. You traded Kenny Pickett the second he complained about anything. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think that's uh, very very questionable. Mike Williams, I still think could work. I I just I'm I'm confused by what Jerry meant by by a bigger catch, a bigger splash. If you're going, let me toss this out there. Brandon Ayuk in chat, let me know too. Brandon Ayuk, 20th overall pick, and I don't know. Let's toss Let's toss a, a, a third round pick next year, fourth round pick next year. Let's toss that out there. You 20th overall pick, fourth round pick next year. Justin Jefferson, 20th overall pick, second pick next year. Who are you going with? I would go with Justin Jefferson every single day. Oh, if you're offering me <laughs> Jefferson versus Ayuk, okay. I'm going Justin Jefferson every single day, especially if it's a first and a second versus a first and a third. I think the players are too far apart for that pack those packages to be that close together. So if it's between those two options, I'm taking Jefferson every day. Okay. Right. Ayuk is basically Tom Woodrens. That's a fantastic <laughs> comment. Um I look at first and a second for what I think you have to figure it out. I don't know. I think it, it rules it rules the extension for Russell Wilson right out. There's no way you're extending Russell Wilson and giving him $35 million for the next two or three years and having Justin Jefferson worth, you know, $30 million a year and having everybody else on your defense. I mean, you have the highest paid defense in the NFL. You have the cheapest paid offense in the NFL. You could even that out somehow, but not if you add a quarterback contract. That's not how that works. You have to have one or the other, and I don't think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be able to pull that off. I think that's, uh, I think that might be, I think Justin Jefferson might be a pipe dream. I'm taking him too, but I think that the numbers just don't seem to want to add up. I think if you stick with Justin Fields, which, you know, we're going to talk about here in a minute, but I think once you stick with Justin Fields and you could extend him for a year, two years maybe on cheap, five million bucks a year. Six million bucks a year, then you have the moves to make Justin Jefferson work or Brandon Ayuk work on a three year deal, then that's totally fine. I think at that point, you can make it, you can make just about anything work because your quarterback market is so low. This year you can make anything work. It's about next year how you're gonna make that work because that's when all these contracts are gonna hit. And you don't want to back yourself into a corner. I don't see Omar Khan backing anybody into a corner. He is such a genius when it comes to the contracts. So I think the quarterback decides a lot of that. I don't know. Justin Jefferson feels like a pipe dream. Brandon Ayuk does not, does not feel like a pipe dream. But depending on what you have to give up, we'll see, we'll see what happens.